Tonight, Jean Lockhart stars in another original drama in Armstrong's Circle Theater. Presented by the Armstrong Cork Company, makers of Armstrong's Linoleum, Armstrong's Quaker rugs and floor coverings, Armstrong's Resilient Tiles, and Armstrong's Plastic Floors. Fine floors for every room in your home. Forget it, Pat. Forget it, you say? Mm. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can a man's lungs forget to breathe, huh? Can a man's heart forget to beat? Uh, someday, someday. All I say, Lady Luck better smile on you pretty fast. You ain't getting any younger, you know. Oh, <laughs> you spoke truth there, Jonesy. I'm not getting any younger, and that's a fact. <laughs> the arthritis in me toes keeps telling me that. <laughs> oh, oh, Joey. Hey, how's your little boy? Oh, he's got asthma, hasn't he? How'd you expect him to be? You had asthma, how do you think you'd be? Oh, no, I, I, I was only asking you a civil question. My wife and me, we were... We were up with him about all night. He just laying there trying to get his breath and, you know, gasping for air. He can't do nothing. Does that answer your question? Yes, it, it does, Joe. But, but now, can't can a man offer you a little sympathy without you going off like that? No. Thanks for your sympathy, Pop. Sympathy don't pay no doctor bills. Life has sure kicked that kid around. Ever since I've known him, he's had nothing but bad luck. It's made him kind of hard to get along with. Hey, I try to keep me temper with him, you know, but it, it, it seems yeah, I no I know. He can't be a sore head. Ah, it's his little boy being sick, it does Ever since the doctors told him the kid wouldn't stand a chance unless he moved him out west somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Move him out west somewhere. You know, Kruger told me that... The boy is trying to save up a little money. Save? There's a laugh. How can guys like us save anything? Even millionaires today can't save nothing. And Joey's up to his ears in debt besides. Yeah, I, it's his little wife I, I keep thinking of somehow, you know. She's a sweet girl and a good wife. I'll never forget the time I first laid eyes on her. Oh. She, how she reminded me of my own Margaret. Rest her soul. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, Jonesy, I, I've always had a high regard for you. You know that now, don't you? I, I consider you a very sympathetic man. Now, uh, do, do you think you could be letting me have me a little pay on for a little early today? No. Ah, oh, now, Jonesy, now don't... Every week you ask me the same question, and every week I gotta say no. Yes, but darling, now... You know you... the rules. Ah, oh, the rules and the rules. You get paid 12 o'clock, same as everybody else. I... <laughs> you ain't gonna win nothing anyway, so what's the hurry? Well, now you never know. Uh, that, that lucky dollar stuff in the papers is just a gimmick to sell. Make people buy the papers. Now they print the serial numbers of ten one dollar bills, and if you've got a bill with one of them serial numbers, you get five hundred bucks. What are the odds? Just figure the odds. One guy out of ten thousand, maybe. One guy. Well, I don't say I have much of a chance, but but somebody has to win, and it might be me. Oh, poor Jonesy, if I did win. Oh, if I did win. 
Because then I'd be here in the bells of cocaine. Again? Okay. The, the bells of cocaine. What's that? Are you telling me you never heard of the bells of cocaine? The land of heart's desire. Yeah, you're getting kind of flossy, ain't you? Oh, well, I, I suppose it is a bit poetic, but you see, it, it's this way. When, when you speak of getting something that you've been wanting real bad, wanting real bad for a long time, tis then, tis then you speak of, of hearing the bells of cocaine. Hmm. What are you always champing at the bit to go back to Ireland for, anyhow? Well, it's, it's just a visit the place again once more before I die and to see the little village where I was born. Yeah, no, no, you told me a hundred times. Ah, yes, but you, you've never seen the place. In my mind's eye, I can see it now, Jonesy. There it is. The little cottages mm. and the thatched roof and the little lake yonder looking so blue and the green hills rolling on down to the sea. And the fires they make with peat that don't have heat the house. All they got to eat is pork and potatoes, day in and day out. Brother, you can't have it. Ah, you don't understand, Jones. Mm. You, you, you just don't understand. No. N now, look, couldn't I be having me little pay envelope a few minutes early today? Not a chance. Come back in five minutes, 12 o'clock. That's when everybody else gets paid. That's when you get paid. Mr. Jones, you're a hard, cruel man. That's what you are now. I just, if I, listen, if I want to take a hand at that poker game, nobody's going to stop me. I just try to stop you from making things worse for yourself, that's all. Just, just. Now, Joey, what would this be about you taking a hand at the poker game? Haven't you got enough trouble now with getting into more? Well, I got to get some money and I got to get it fast. Yeah, but what if you lose? You know just as well as I do, you can't afford to lose. What's it to you? Well, I'm thinking of your little wife and child, that's why. What do you think I'm thinking of, Pop? We had the doctor in this morning, about 3 o'clock. He says to me, you got to get this kid to a hot and dry climate. He keeps telling me like he hasn't told me a hundred times already. Well, now, maybe maybe there are other ways of, of getting that little money. What other ways? Well, now, let's think about it. Yeah, let's think about it. You listen to me, Pop. You know, the doctor gives me a prescription. He says, uh, you got to get this filled this morning. Well, you know how much it's going to cost? Nine bucks. Nine bucks. My wife's coming up this morning. Well, about 12. She's going to pick up my pay envelope. You know why? Because we haven't got a cent. We haven't got a red cent in the house. And that drugstore guy, he can't give us no more credit. Not that I'm blaming him. Yeah, well, I, I know now. It's hard for you, Johnny. But now, now look here. Now look. Now you look. I have made up my mind, Pop. i got to get money for my kid. And I'm going to get it. But you young galoot, don't you see that you, you, you'd be in danger of losing your money if you paid there? Well, who asked you? Who asked you? No one has to ask me. But a man as old as me sees a young fellow like you throwing away the money that you ought to be saving for your wife and child, he feels he has to tell you. Well, don't tell me. Look, I don't want no advice from you or anybody else. <laughs> I just want you to mind your own business once in a while. That's all, Pop. Oh! Oh, th thank you now. Thank you now for, for holding the meat, please. Thank Are you me. kidding? End of the line, Pat. On your way, Pop. Way back. On, Pop. Way back, Dad. Rivnock. Clay. Kruger. Oh, thank you, Mr. Kapleski. Fraser. Oh, uh, you was docked today, Joey, the day you was out. They know why I was out. Yeah. The kid, he was real bad that night. I, I couldn't, in the morning... Forget it. Cosgrove. Oh, I made this up real special for you, Pat. It's got today's winning serial number in it. Oh, aren't you the kind and generous man, Mr. Jones? You have a heart as soft as flint. Uh, <laughs> Balducci? Sure, sure, Joey. Come on, come on.
up to you. Two bits. I'm out. Don't take all day about it, Kruger. We only got an hour, you know. How about you, Joey? Oh, uh -uh. I'll stay. Me too. I'll stay once. Two bits. Raise it. Two bits. Come on, it's up to you. Tell me you think you got one of these lucky bills. Wait, let me check it, for goodness sake. <laughs> G, G, lots and lots of nine, eight, one, five, eight, six, two. It checks. Oh, Pat. <laughs> Pat, you won. <laughs> you won. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. You know, here's a wonderful idea if you're planning to buy or build a new house. Keep a scrapbook. Now, this way, you can make a collection of suggestions like the Armstrong magazine pages, and then, well, use the ones that you like best. For example, oh, now, here's a great favorite with new kitchens these days, the oven that's built right in the wall. And then, um, oh, this table. Now, you can move that around for extra workspace wherever you need it. Well, now, when it comes to a new kitchen floor, you'll find the widest range of design and color ideas in Armstrong's inlaid linoleum. Every one of them created by artists who really know style. So you can count on Armstrong's linoleum being the right floor for whatever decorative scheme you have in mind. Now, just look here. This is our very latest styling, Armstrong's Royale linoleum. You know, this bold stroke graining is the very latest thing these days. And oh, I just wish you could see the wide range of beautiful decorator colorings that Royale comes in. Well, anyway, I can show you a few things you can do with Armstrong's Royale linoleum. Now, you can have it installed just as it comes in a row like this, in one all-over color, or if you like, you can have a custom effect. A design that's cut right into the linoleum like this. Isn't that pretty? Now, just imagine a kitchen floor custom tailored to your own home. Well, now, that's something you can have with Armstrong's Royale Linoleum. And just ask any woman who owns an Armstrong's Linoleum floor, and she'll tell you that it stays beautiful with practically no effort at all. And that's because Armstrong's Linoleum is smooth, easy to clean, and it's greaseproof, too. Just an occasional mopping and waxing is all it needs to keep it bright and sparkling. And that's what you want in a floor these days. A modern fashion floor that's easy to take care of. So when you're going through the magazines for ideas for the new house, be sure to cut out the Armstrong magazine pages. They're full of lots of clever decorating ideas and the very latest styles in Armstrong's inlaid linoleum, right for every room in the house. Now, act two of The Bells of Cocaine, starring Jean Lockhart in Armstrong's Circle Theater. I'm out. Mm. 
I'll take three. How many's the dealer? Two. I bet two bits. <clears throat> There's your two bits. Let's come up another two bits. <clears throat> you guys are kind of giving me a tough time, huh? Well, here's your raise, and I'm bumping it. Half a buck. <laughs> Guess I was lucky for once, huh? Well, I gotta see that. Yeah, I'm seeing you, Brittany. Chet. I got a full house. Big three sixes. And three kings. <laughs> Too bad. Too bad. Listen, Joey. Yeah. Not anymore. This is a, this is a fine thing for a grown man like me to be doing. I, I can't believe it's happened to me. I just can't believe it's happened to me. Uh, I suppose you'll be hearing those bells now. Ah, oh, oh, the bells are cocky. I'll be hearing them the minute I step foot in Ireland. Five hundred dollars. More than enough to take me there and bring me back again. You better not tell anybody yeah. about it. Somebody will borrow it from you before you even get on the boat. That's a grand suggestion. Thank you very much, Joe. You hear that, sir? Sure. Yeah. I hear him all day long. Yes, so do I. But, you know, now, you won't think me daft, will you? But, you know, sometimes when I listen to them, I, I feel I'm, I'm not hearing them with my ears. Yeah. I'm hearing them with my heart. <laughs> It oh, seems here's, to be the here's, way here's, that... here's uh, Joey's wife. Uh, hello, Margie. Hi, Mr. Jones. Oh, uh, hello, Margie. Now, uh, how are you today? Well, you came to see Joey, huh? He's expecting me. Do you uh, know where he is? Uh, uh, yes, he's very busy, but I'll get him for you. Come inside. Well, that's all right, Pat. Just tell me where he is. No, 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 no. You come in here and sit down, my dear, and I'll get him for you. Sit right here now and, and make yourself comfortable now. Uh, how's your little boy today? Oh, he's feeling a little better. I hope this prescription I've got will really help him. Mm. That's why I got to see Joey. Ah, I see. Well, now I'll get him for you. You rest there now. Isn't she a, a fine little girl, then? Eh? <laughs> Pat. Uh, I guess you and Joey have been having things uh, kind of tough, huh? Well, it ain't easy, Mr. Jones. Mm. And Joey takes things so hard. Yeah. Seeing you. What do you got? Well, I got a, I just got a pair, deuces, and a pair of jacks. Jacks? <laughs> of all the rotten luck. Oh, come on, it's your deal. Get a move on. Uh, take your time, will you, Ridnick? Every time you lose, and you want us to hurry, so you get a chance to win your money back. When you're winning, it's a horse of a different color. Hey, Joey. Joey. Oh, no, no. Doing all right, Big Shot. <laughs> Big winner so far, huh? Yeah. Looks that way, doesn't it? I'm glad I was wrong, Jimmy. You should go on being the big winner. I know you need the money. You can use it. I could use it, too. Yeah. Drink. Remember. I'm glad to see you're winning, Joey. Got any more ideas about staying out of poker games, Bob? Come Enjoy on, it. come on. Let's play cards. Uh, will you deal them out and cut the chatter? Hold your horses, will you, Rivenick? Joey. Margie's here. Margie. You guys have to deal me out a couple, I guess. Wait a minute. Wait, what do you mean, deal you out? Well, I gotta go see Margie a couple of minutes. So what? I just gotta see her, that's all. I'll see you later. I'm out over 20 clams. You ain't running out, I don't get a chance to get it back. Nobody's running out, Redman. You ain't running out, Bloodshed. that's for sure. Look. 
Sonny boy, you ain't leaving while I'm out 20 clams. It's five minutes. Five, five minutes, minutes could mean the difference I win or lose. What do you want from me, for Pete's sake? I want you should stay here, or you give me a chance to get even, you little punk. Oh, hey, 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 Chance get your money back? You want to cut for it? Okay. Get your money out. Joey, do you think you oh, ought to? Please, please. Shuffle them up a little bit, Revenue. It's okay. Okay. Get away. Well. That's the way it goes. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, hold it, wait a minute. You want to cut him once again? I'm willing if you are. You got the nerve? All right. Okay, Joey boy. Deal him, Kruger. There you go. Come on, Kruger, deal him up. Seems like we just never had a chance to get on our own. And all this trouble on top of everything else. Well, it's change enjoying, Mr. Jones. It's mm, yeah. Well, I don't know. Mm. I wonder what's keeping Joey so long. Well, I'll go find out, see, see what's holding him up. What's the matter, Katie? What happened? Oh. Joey. Oh, Margie. I gotta talk to you for a minute. What's the matter, honey? What's wrong? Well, I... Hmm? Come in. Pat, Pat! Patty, he didn't lose it. Ah, every penny cutting cards with Revenant. And that's herself will be suffering the most. Mm. And the baby. Poor little girl. A poor, sweet little girl. Pat, what are you doing? That's your lucky doll. Joey, is this your dolly you dropped now? Is it? Huh? You come out of your pocket. No, I read. Mr. Come I out of your pocket now. Here, here, take it, my boy. Thank you. Hey, uh, oh, well, just a minute. Here, I have an idea. Let me check the numbers here with the, the numbers in the paper here, the lucky dollar bills. You never know when your luck will change. You know that now, don't oh, you? Right? Yes, I... Now, humor an old man. Now, just call off the numbers here. We see if we have any luck here. Go ahead now. Uh, G. I. Four. Six. I. Eight, I four. Yes. You got that? Yes. Go on. Four, uh, uh, nine. Yes. Three. Yes. Nine. Yes. Three. Yes. G. That's it. You've won. What? You've won, Joey. Five hundred dollars. You've won. Why, that's a lucky dollar. You know, the contest in the newspaper. All you got to do is to take this down to the newspaper office, show them the lucky dollar bill, and they'll give you five hundred more like it. Oh, congratulations to both of you. Ah. Excuse me, please. You take the dollar bill. Now, away you go, children. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, it's about the first time we ever had a luck lucky break, Bob. You know? Pat, if, if, if you hadn't seen Joy drop this one, oh, I just got to kiss you. That's the first kiss I've had like that since... Well, now here I am talking away the time you ought to be on the on your way down to the newspaper office. Go ahead to both of you now. Go ahead and collect your luck. And good luck again. Oh. God bless you.
names of tonight's cast in just a moment. But first, a word about next week's presentation, when Armstrong Circle Theater will star Sir Cedric Hardwick in The Beard, a delightful new comedy with Natalie Schaefer, Leslie Nielsen, and Johnny Stewart. So be with us then, won't you? There's an old saying around floor covering stores that a floor is no better than the way it's installed. And that's why floor covering dealers all over the country have men especially trained to install Armstrong's linoleum floors properly, like the one that Kay showed you, so that they'll look their best and wear their longest. A modern Armstrong's linoleum floor, an experienced flooring craftsman, are an unbeatable combination that'll make certain you get beautiful floors properly installed. Floors that you'll be proud to own for years to come in any room in your home. to select the plays you want, we always like to hear your own opinion of Armstrong Circle Theater and your suggestions as to how we can please you. If you care to write us in care of NBC New York, we'll be glad to hear from you.